Welcome everybody back to the H3 podcast, uh, number 27 podcast in the USA, 5.5 on Wikifeed. Uh, with us today is Cody Co. Cody, do you have a Wikifeed page? I don't know. Let's find out. I've never Why? looked. Yeah, can you look? Well, let's look right now. I mean, so do you know what Wikifeed got, is? Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. And I got to say, oh, am I on there? Really good rating, bro. Real? No way. You have, have a four point nine. You have a four point nine out of five. Yeah, but I have what? a I have a five point five <laughs> out of five. Yeah, dude. You have a better than perfect yes. beat rating. They they somehow made the website so you can transcend a perfect score. But there's a lot. What, do you of... have like three feet or something? <laughs> my no, my dick is tiny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should really look here. There's a lot of pictures of your feet. I will say that these fetishes are really easy to uh, impress. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like the standards aren't that high? No. I don't know. I'm really self-conscious about my feet because I... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I See, that's the one I'm... T- see, this is what... <laughs> you see how many pics there are? That's what I'm talking about. I took that picture on Tuesday, this Tuesday, and I was going to post it to the, my story, and then I showed it to Kelsey, and I was like... My feet are in it. Like, really? I really have really bad feet. Hmm. And I was like, do they look bad in this picture? And she said, no, 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 they look fine. And so I posted it. And then every single DM response I got was either small feet or disgusting feet. What? Every single one. Yes. Like, like 50 of them. What? Well, I mean, my, granted, my feet do look pretty small in that picture. No, they look totally normal, bro. I got I to gotta be here and support you. And I, I got to just ride for you and tell you that your feet, uh, those are 4.9 feet. Thank you, man. You got to feel good about that rating if you have feet issues. Yeah. That mean that means a lot. Good for you, bro. Well, I'm glad to yeah. start off on a happy note here. Yeah. But I do have to confess something to you. What? I brought you here under false pretense. No. What is uh, Jake Paul going to pop this in? This is actually an intervention <laughs> about you being a cyberbully. Yeah, Jake okay. Paul's here. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, I actually, I mean, if you probably I was like, have not PTSD. Again. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, dude, do you have PTSD from being blitzed by Jake Paul? That looked really stressful. Um, I think I'm, I gotten, I've gotten over it. I think I've, it's, you know, weather the storm. Um, you know, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. I'm sure maybe he still doesn't like me. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm just, I honestly, I want to go back on Jeff's show. Mm. I, I, I was thinking it'd be it'd be a funny like sequel if I went back on because we have like beef now. It's fake beef, but it's like real beef at the same time. Oh, I haven't been following that. So, um, well, no, it's just like from the fact that he ambushed me. Right. You know, I got to say, if I was you, I'd be a, a little pissed because it's like Jake came out hot and heavy, but it wasn't just Jake. It was like everybody all of a sudden was like, yeah, you know, he, he, sometimes if you made a video about me, I'd be gutted. And all these guys are like, it was like a straight up intervention, bro. I felt like it was just not cool. And I disagree with them, by the way, too. I don't think your shit's mean spirited. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. If you're I mean, sh- yeah, I was, I was like, you're saying I should have been pissed at Jeff. I, w- I would have been. I, you're a much better person than I am, apparently. I would have been a little pissed. Like, dude, what the fuck? You know? Well, afterwards, I was like, because I was telling people, and they were like, you should probably be like pissed at him. And I was like, because we had been hiking that day. We went on a nice hike together. Wow. <laughs> and then before shooting the show, and I was like, we're going to go on a hike. I'm going to get a haircut. It's going to be a great day. Hmm. And, and so we went on the hike, and it was great. And I felt good. And then we sat down for the haircut and that happened. But I was just like, oh, but we did go on a hike together <laughs> earlier. So I can't be that mad because it was a nice hike. And then people were like, you should probably be pretty mad. And then, I mean, like, I think that it turned out kind of funny. Like the whole situation. Oh, for sure. Turned out pretty, pretty funny. And so I wasn't that mad. But then now I'm kind of fake mad. And so I kind of want to go on his show again and be like, don't ambush me again. Yeah, I wonder if there's like, someone else he could have in the closet to ambush you, a different person. Well, at first he told me, he said, we were trying to get Lele Pons to come in, and she said yes. And then her manager or someone said, no, you shouldn't do that. And so she was like, okay, fine. If only so Jake had handlers that smart. Yeah. <laughs> but it was actually, it was the greatest uh, reverse card ever, because I remember he when he posted his video trying to slam on you, 
Dude, that's like got a 99% dislike. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, I think it worked out pretty well for you. But actually, are you following the Jake Paul news? Because, he, uh, like, for example, it just came out that he owes $2 million in federal taxes. Is that true? I saw that, but I didn't know if it was true or not. You know what? I don't know if it's true or not either. It was kind of a tabloidy paper. <laughs> yeah, put it, it a out. little bit. How would you ever know how much money someone owes to the IRS? That's a really good question. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised. Like, does, does the IRS talk to the press? Yeah, I don't think <laughs> so. They're like, you I... won't fucking believe how much this <laughs> yeah, dude owes yeah. us. <laughs> I yeah. got a juicy one for you guys. Yeah, be like, hey, dude, Jake Paul, does he, guys, does he owe you guys any money? Yeah. <laughs> for that fucking guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how are you, dude? How are you dealing with everything? <clears throat> you've got a show, you've got the uh the real the real bros. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> that cough is gonna <laughs> fucking end me, dude. Are you are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have acid reflux, but I feel like it's ruining our show because I can't stop coughing. Is it because of is it like why do you get that? Is it natural? My buddy has it. It's because he eats things that his body doesn't react well to, but he likes he likes them. So he hmm. sometimes he eats. Well, them I haven't eaten. I it. intentionally didn't even eat anything today because I didn't okay, want gotcha. to inflame it. So I'm on. I'm running on empty. You're, fa here. you're fasting. Yeah, I'm fasting for you, but uh, <laughs> it's not working. Is it natural? Um, I don't know. Is incest natural? I guess that's a bigger question because I've got all is these it? because I mean, I don't know. Is it because I've got all these neurological fucking diseases from being like purebred Ashkenazi Jew. OK. And so like they all are inbred. So I don't know. Is incest natural? That's a question for you. So you're saying it, it's from incest. Mm -hmm. The acid reflux. My okay. Tourette syndrome and my GAD, they call it. What's Which GAD? G, uh, oh, that's no, not GAD. It's a G. G R E M. <laughs> I <Grim>? think. <laughs> I think. What is it called? When you guys look it up, I think it's it G E R D, right? G E GERD. GERD. Gastroesophageal <laughs> reflux disease. That's what I've got. GERD. That's a pretty apt name for that. I'm sorry, GERD my GERD's fuck, flaming up. You got any like diseases? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any diseases. Damn. You're yeah, so fucking I lucky. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I think I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good <laughs> as of now. But I'm getting now. I'm I'm, I'm about to turn thirty, hmm. and I just I'm feeling myself physically breaking down a little bit. Hmm. But you seem so fit. That's you not were... a disease. I mean, it's just aging. Yeah, but that's... I definitely feel it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so you're working on the show. You got your YouTube channel, you're touring, you've got the podcast. How is COVID hitting you? Because it seems like it would affect a lot of the stuff that you work on regularly. Yeah, I mean, it. so for Real Bros, they had to stop shooting because we needed basically two, these two shots that we couldn't get once COVID hit. And so that show stopped. And then we just filmed it again like a month ago. And so the episodes will resume in like a week. Mm. Um, for YouTube, honestly, like staying home like at the beginning of it staying home all day every day all i did was write videos and shoot them mm. and so i was posting way more fre frequently just because it was like the only thing that i could focus on um and then yeah for the podcast it's been fine i don't know mentally like i, I we had to postpone the tour uh till the summer and then till next summer mm. so that was you know kind of you know a bummer but uh it was it's kind of felt good just to stay in LA and not go anywhere. Yeah. For, for a while. I've never like not traveled, you know, or like been on a plane or something um, for like longer, you know, two months or whatever. So it's been, it's been fine just staying here. Um, That's so privileged, bro. I know. Well, I mean, like just for work too, you know, I set you up, dude. I know. I asked I know. you and then I dunked. Them I'm not saying, yeah. Privileged. It's just, you know, even like traveling for work or whatever, it's just, I used to do it all the time and now just staying in one place. Yeah, I, I, fuck, I, I hate traveling, man. I, I don't think I could ever take this podcast on the road just because I just, the touring is such a, such a schlep, dude. Yeah. 
yeah, no, it's it's pretty rough sometimes. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is and fun. It's a great it experience. Is, it, it and is, it's, yeah. It really is amazing, like performing. Um, but it, it weighs on you. Like, there's some just living on a bus for a month at a time. It's like by the end, you're like, I just want to fucking go home. Right. Like, the second one we did, I got home and this is like, you know, a month. I hadn't been home in a month and I opened my front door. And at some point during the month, my, my toy like my sewage sewage system backed up oh shit so my entire apartment was filled with like human shit the whole oh, thing no like two inches thick oh was and it so, your shit or like everyone's shit i mean i think it was a decent amount of mine yeah because i recognized the smell a little bit you know <laughs> you're like oh what is that <laughs> i can I was like I oh that's that fucking horrific yeah, sorry sorry if that's no that's know, fine gross, i mean but... i'm i just i just that's a horrible way to come home so then i had to we had to, you know, call Serve Pro to come clean it up, and then they had to redo the floors. I had to throw everything out because everything it touches <clears> is black water. So it, when it dries, it releases bacteria into the air. So then I had to make an ins- a giant insurance claim for like all the stuff it destroyed. So I was living in a hotel for like a month when I got back from not being home for a month. Sucked. Wow, dude! How much stuff did you lose to black? By the way, black water is a hell of a name. Catch me every time I hear that. Like. Uh... It's not enough that it's covered in shit. It's black water, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like uh, your apartment burning down. You lost a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's because like it it dripped into my office. So like all the cords I have on the ground and everything, and my computers on the ground, like it touched basically everything. Yeah, you you got to throw that out once it touches. I was poo poo. Yeah. yeah, and so it wasn't wasn't a fun situation. So um. Dude, we had a little bit of a beef. Do you remember about Ty Lopez? There wasn't a beef. <laughs> there was like hella beef for a minute, dude. And okay, actually, yeah, it was a, it was a beef. I like having beef with people, so yeah, it was a beef. Well, yeah, did I'm you? I'm pissed at you. Yeah, I was pissed at you, bro. <laughs> You're pissing me, dude. I was so angry. No, I'm kidding. But um, <laughs> what I was gonna ask is that uh, you seem to be a part of this new wave of like commentary channels is more wholesome than the traditional sense is that a conscious decision you make to kind of to uh try to be try to be less toxic than what's out there or is it kind of just naturally what you like to make um although jake paul would disagree but yeah exactly am i naturally i think naturally i'm a cyber bully at at heart (laughs) right 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 Um, i relate (laughs) no i think yeah, I think it's just this. I don't know. I feel like maybe when I started and I was trying to emulate the com, like you know, I don't know. I, I was maybe a little bit more mean spirited because I really just wanted to make fun of things. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, it's like that's not what. It's almost like negative energy is is actually pretty bad, and people don't really respond to that, and it doesn't really get you that far. Um, and I really don't want to like tear things apart and roast things Mm -hmm. as much as people think I do. It's just, some things are just funny and you just point out that it's funny, but then it's even funnier to go meet up with that person and see what he's really like. You know, you ever hear from someone you've made a video about other than like Jake Paul? Like, I wonder about how the, uh, the, the Christian girls against, uh, thinking about boys. They don't, yeah, they don't like us. What, what is the name of their group? Uh, girl defined. (laughs) Yeah. Girl defined. Yeah. So have they, they responded like at all to your commentary? Yeah, they they posted they didn't like respond on YouTube, but they posted this thing on their website that was like um it was like an ad for their tour or their book or something like that. I forget what it was, but it said it said with 20 million views on YouTube, it's our biggest video to date. The only problem is we didn't make it. <laughs> and it's in reference to our video. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know if I forget what it says afterwards. It goes on about how we suck. They never refer to us, though, by name. And so they've definitely, like, they don't like us. That's but, a shame. Yeah, I mean. I feel like you could that learn one, a lot That one, I feel like, them. is fair, though. The, well, really I mean, did. dude, it's got to, Go like, there's no way that either of you guys could have expected that that video would have got, because that video now has, like, over 20 million views. Yeah. And those girls have just got, I mean, they got... Dude, you just Jesus Christ the fuck out of them. I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know it was going to be that yeah, popular. Yeah. Like at the time, 
that was like one of the first ones we did, I think. The first that's cringes. Yeah. And like I don't even think I had a million subscribers. I think they had more. Really? And I think it was I didn't just, realize they're a big channel. Well, God bless them. I think, maybe. I'm not sure. But I know that like their videos, like the ones that we responded to, like the how to dress modestly at the at the pool and stuff mm, like that. Mm. When they were like, you know, like wear a parka at the pool <laughs> yeah. in the summer. Like those ones had hundreds of thousands of views because people would watch them and be like, this is ridiculous. Oh, OK. So you, you guys weren't the first. By the way, congratulations on five billion uh, subscribers. Thank you. Five trillion. Five trillion. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. How is uh, yeah, no. I mean, your channel's been growing a lot lately, dude. How's it? Uh, how's that feeling, man? I mean, it feels fucking sick. Yeah, it's dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I'm rich now. Hell yeah. So, no, I'm kidding. You got I'm kidding. Beef. It's No, but it's it's awesome. I mean, I don't, I haven't posted as much as I'd like to in the last couple of months, but like at the start of COVID, I was posting a lot and everything was going well. And then, and then I started focusing on other things and it just feels like I want to do too much sometimes. So it's like, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I feel that. It's hard to, it's hard to like, I can't prioritize things, you know? Does your, like do your fans problems. get angry when you don't post? People like tweet me and they're like, okay, what's up? Yeah. Where's the videos? Yeah. Where are the videos? So what are you working on? How do we justify your disappearance? Okay, I'm posting this video tomorrow that I've been working on for like a month and a half. Same sort of thing. Well, wh when's this going to go out? This will go up uh, on Monday. Right, Dan? Okay, yeah. So yeah. So I can talk about it because it'll be up already. It's um, I did the same sort of thing. I, I met, I've made one of the That's Cringe episodes we did with this guy named Darman. Hmm. You've ever seen his videos? He does like inspirational, like uh, sketches that he hmm. like, teaches people lessons. Um, and so we did a that cringe on him, and then I did a follow up video on on him because he gets like he gets like hundreds of millions of views on on. I think overall between YouTube and Facebook, he's about to hit nine billion views or something like that. Whoa! <laughs> or four billion? Like it's in the billions though. It's an absurd amount of views, and he's growing this into like a legitimate company. He's now. Opening like a, a I, actually, I don't, I don't know if I could talk about that. Anyways, You've got inside he, he does these sketches and I've made fun of them twice. And so, and then he DM'd me and was like, oh, your video is really funny. And I was thinking, I was like, how could I, you know, how could I make this more of a positive thing where, where I try to like figure out what it takes to create one of these. And so I DM'd him and I called him and I told him, I was like, I want to write one. I want to write one of these sketches, see if I can do it. And if you like it, you produce it and I'll even be in it. And I want to see if I can get like tens of millions of views too, writing like you write. <laughs> and, and he was like, sure, let's go for it. And so I did it. And then we worked together on the script and I just learned a ton of, about like why he writes the way he writes. Like they're all really simple, like overly simple, very cliche, but it's cause he has a lot of like international people that don't speak English and a lot of like six year olds, their moms will like make them watch the videos because it teaches them good lessons and so it's like a lot of stuff that i didn't consider and so i like i learned a lot by writing this and then i went and shot it and met with the guy who directs them edits them and everything and then it came out on his channel last friday and so the rest of the video is me like reacting to the final sketch wow wait how did i what what's the name of his channel darman darman D yeah d-h-a-r-m-a-n-n -N. i gotta see this worldwide uh let's see oh wait that's not this is some random shit he just threw it up. oh good Darn thank man. you yeah let's see the cody co uh there it is. i want to see this inspirational shit oh yeah dude we are inspiring the world 1.9 million views yo watch in a few months i'll be the head chef of this kitchen yeah i want to be head chef too but come on man it's our first day on the job give it time i don't have time i want it now I can't tell which one's the hero. Jake, you can't cook eggs on high heat. Good eggs have to be cooked slowly. Otherwise, they'll be dry. Damn. Uh, look, the faster I cook these eggs, the more customers I can feed. Oh, this guy's Common going way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. But that fast life. to be done fast. Some things require patience. So, can you show me the channel, uh, Ian? Because uh, Go to his face. Go to his Facebook page. Oh, see, yeah, this is the kind of guy that would crush on Facebook. 
Facebook's a wild like, look place, at this, man. 14 mil- like, look at his top most popular uploads. They have like like 14 million, 12 million, 10 million, 10 wow. million 9, 9 million. Dude, I'm always I'm always amazed at like uh, the kind of content I find that I just didn't even know existed. There's so many huge channels and yeah, personalities on the same. internet. Yeah, same. And and I, yeah, that's that's one of the things too is like peeling back the, the or figuring out like what goes on underneath the surface. Like I went to his channel, I was like, this guy gets so many views. Just assuming it was like one guy making these videos just for the views, and mm. then I met him. And he has like an entire production team. Yeah, he does his videos months in advance. Like he posts one every wow. two days, and he he's writing the ones that he's going to post in like six months. Like it's an entire, uh, you know, like process that he has, and he really fucking cares about like teaching people good lessons. He's wow. like a really genuine dude. <laughs> wow, that's and so I just interesting. Kind of his intentions were so, malicious. So going there and going through this whole process, like you mu- it must have been it turned all of your assumptions kind of backwards about the guy. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So we got to go get you to spend a day with Jake Paul, and maybe see if that turns around your assumptions. <laughs> I wonder if that would entrench them or turn them around. <laughs> I would do that. Yeah, I would, I would do, do that. that. I just feel like I don't know. I feel like maybe he would try. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if he would be into it. Yeah, I almost feel. Do you ever almost Plus, feel I bad? Think Shane Dawson already did that, right? Yeah, Shane did that, but he was trying to prove that he was a sociopath. So <laughs> I'm not right. exactly sure he went there with an open mind. Right. Dan, can you turn Cody up a little bit? <clears throat> I almost feel bad for Jake sometimes, like, living in the shadow of his brother. The dude just, like, he just got raided by the FBI. I mean, damn. That's pretty wild. And nobody knows why, right? Yeah, I've been, could, I mean, I... Could have been the guns or something? It wasn't the guns. They went in, they found the guns there, and they had to take them out to secure the perimeter. But, uh... <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> uh, that's why people watch, man. They love that. <coughs> you know, I had a kill button last episode. I don't know why my jerd has been going crazy. My, my jeward. And I had a kill button. <laughs> Usually Ela's with me. And um, so I kept killing the butt, the mic. And coughing like super fucking loud, getting into it like because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I thought nobody could hear, but Ela's sitting right here, and, and it so was the worst. Together. Yeah, no, her mic wasn't muted, so it was like the worst episode ever. People were just like, "I can't watch this shit." Ethan is always fucking coughing. Yeah, people get really mad when we eat into the mic. Mm. I've never, I've never minded that sound, like hearing someone chew, mm. but it really pisses people off really bad so i've had leave that comments like i can't believe you fucking did this again <laughs> like i'm in my car and you guys just won't stop drinking and eating into the <laughs> mic and it's so disrespectful and it's like i'm just trying to eat some nuts you know yeah i have the, the same Mormons. reaction i i'm, I'm with you 100 percent. i don't really i'm not bothered by the sound but people get very angry too when we do that and um have you stopped or are you just saying fuck it i'm gonna eat we i stop but you know when i get a little hungry what are you gonna do yeah, and I need a little You eat snack. away from the mic? I try. I go. Yeah. But then I, you know, usually the last final chew will be a into the mic. You have accent, to give it. You, know? you just have to let them know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I learned this about you that I, a uh, thing I didn't know. <laughs> Not that. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm sorry to, like, I've been trying everything I can to fix this issue. I thought it was. Coffee. I stopped drinking coffee. I didn't fucking drink any coffee. Okay? That's a big sacrifice. Uh, oh, And I was like, oh, maybe it's oatmeal. I've been eating just plain fucking oatmeal in the morning. <laughs> like the most depressing breakfast you can imagine. Plain that is pretty o- sad. Okay. Cut out the plain oatmeal. Here I am with a glass of water. <clears throat> I'm- so, so I don't know what to do to the people. I mean, I'm on medicine. Yeah, have you tried like Pepsi or something, dude? I take sh- I take fucking Omaprazole, dude. I take the serious shit. That I take a pill serious. every morning. I take a pill every morning, Ian, that reduces <clears throat> the amount of fluid in my st- uh, fucking acid in my stomach, man. <laughs> and like. <laughs> I still can't. I still can't stop. So I don't know. Maybe this business isn't for me. Does that mess with your bowel movements at all? 
No, my bowel movements have been really clean lately. Thanks for asking. That's good. That's good to know. How was your bowel movements in general, Cody? I'd like to know. Mine have been pretty clean this week. This week I've been eating. Well, I actually stopped coffee too, two weeks ago. Why? Because it, it like, I don't know. I have, I, I have weird anxiety, but it's like super physical. Like, hold on. Things have popped up. Like I get really weird physical anxiety <laughs> symptoms. Like I can't hmm. feel my limbs and it's just weird. And, oh, wow. and when I drink coffee in the morning, it used to start, it used to like just kick it off at like 10 a.m. I would just feel anxious all day. And I just think about it, like, make my heart rate go up. And I don't know, my tri- my like, you know, my threshold now is way lower for some reason. When I'm like worried about a whole mm. bunch of shit, I get really anxious. And then like it just anything will kick it off. Mm. And coffee every single day, I was just feeling like shit. So I stopped. I've been drinking tea. Does it help? It's, yeah, I think so. Hmm. Is it caffeine? Because it's the caffeine, right? Are you I drinking, think it's the caffeine, yeah. You're drinking caffeine-free tea? Caffeine, yeah, it's just like That's what's water. Up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but about your bowel movements, like, pretty good, pretty clean. <laughs> pretty clean, yeah, yeah. So coffee used to, like, you know, well, it would you know, clean me out every morning. But now... <laughs> you're a little more backed like, up. Now I'm backed up, but it's, like, more <laughs> solid, you know? <laughs> That's good. This yeah. I would I would change. I would take a reg, like a good solid bowel movement over a regular bowel movement. Yeah. yeah Every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And when you wiping, uh, uh, do you use a wet one? Do you have a bidet? What What's going on? I um, <clears throat> I'll just take take a poop and then just jump straight into the shower. No, I'm kidding. I was, I I, that, dude, no. there's people that I'm do that. Do that. I know there are people the that do that, but I don't. My my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy wipes from the front. <clears throat> yeah, I do that. I'm not kidding. You don't do that. Do that. You don't I fucking swear do that. to God, I wipe from the front. You pick, like, what do you do? do you pick t- up this- well, and- it makes sense to me. I, I cut my balls and dick. <laughs> <laughs> so what? obviously I don't want to get poop on it. <laughs> then just go from the back. No, because I've been doing this my whole life. It doesn't, I can't go from the back. You don't understand. Once you, I've been going from the front. If I go from the back, it's like I feel like I'm just leaving shit everywhere. You can't get a proper clean. But do you? But so you do you stand when you wipe, or do you lift? No, you your... just lean off to the side and do see. It. I don't <clears throat> see leaning seems so ridiculous. I don't have to lean. Lori goes and cupping your own dick and balls. Well, I'm not getting shit on it. <laughs> I mean, leaning's like a whole activity. I mean, it's like you're getting you just, a. It's just like this. That's it. Okay, so say you're in a public restroom. God forbid it happens to all of us. You're gonna risk touching the bowl with your hand to lean over and wipe your ass. Like I don't even have to touch the bowl when I wipe from the front. Oh, I see what you're. Yeah, but it's like your wrist, and it's like, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's true. I've never really thought of that before. Also, I feel like. Also, do you look at the toilet paper after you wipe? <laughs> <laughs> So just some maybe if it's like the last one to make sure. Okay. You know. Cuz I look at every one. <laughs> and I feel like if I was wiping from the side I wouldn't be able to look at it. Because how are you going to pull out a <laughs> shitty You can pull it. What do you mean? Because oh, you, you look gonna, at it like you, no, you finish risky. and then you look at it when it's already down. I see. If you pull out a shitty square from the side it's going to get on your thigh, it's going to get on the toilet. I mean <laughs> No, it's not. It I'm not smearing it on myself. It's dangerous. It seems like a dangerous <laughs> maneuver. <clears throat> Use baby wipes. So this is this is great. I don't, but I have before, and it really is something magical. So you just use straight dry toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like America is third world, and as far as wiping is concerned. I mean, the fact that you don't use baby wipes or bidet, it means that you have shit all over your asshole. Like, there's no way you could properly clean your asshole with just paper. Oh, yeah, dude. I go. I dig. No, I, dude. <clears throat> you ever wipe your asshole, please? There's red, you know? <laughs> yeah. You wipe, I know. That's how you know you're done wiping is when your asshole's bleeding. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be yeah, one of really the most. we really are. I remember I, we... My buddy and I like backpack through Thailand and and so, some places there it's just like a hose you just spray your asshole. <laughs> That's crazy. How do, it's like you... a little gun. It's like a little like you know we use for gardening. Mm. It's like one of those. So do you get all no wet? toilet paper or anything? You just and then you pull your pants up with just a wet ass, your whole ass. 
is and what. Did you find like a hour later? How did you feel? Did you feel like they're like it was all good? Kind of it itchy. I don't know, like because that you means know, there's poop in your butt if it's itchy. Well, not that. I'm talking about the cheeks. Like I get this weird <laughs> thing where if I go in a pool or something, I think it's because my butt's like kind of hairy. Yeah, I've got that. When I come out of the pool and I dry, and then I just sit. I'm sitting around. I'll get itchy cheeks. Oh, just the cheeks. Yeah. Huh. I, I want to know if anyone else gets that or if that maybe that's my disease. Yeah, itchy cheek syndrome. Itchy cheeks, yeah. I get that too. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, I've never felt itchy cheeks before. Yeah, no, it sucks because there's no like curing it. It's just you can't you can't scratch the itch. It just like stays there. Oh, that sounds horrible. Well, I will tell you in defense of front wipers, uh, we've conducted a survey because I like to say, you know, we're, there's two kinds of people in this world and they and they don't even know about each other. I, for example, assumed everybody wiped from the front. People from the back all assume people wipe from the back. We conducted a survey. I believe it was like 40 percent of people wipe from the front. So it's much more of us out there than you know. <clears throat> wow. 40 percent, dude. That's actually kind of unbelievable. We did the survey. It was like 40%, right, Dan? Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, w I was shocked. I, I am a back wiper myself. And um, that's why I started laughing so hard as soon as you said, of course I wipe from the back. Because I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah, we had a... We, I mean, <laughs> oh, there was like a whole month dedicated to <clears throat> this great debate we have. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. But you know, I, you yeah, can always... I don't know. The front thing is weird to me. <clears throat> Well, I can, I get that, but it's just the way, it's just who I am as a person. And frankly, the fact that you would even try to discriminate or <laughs> to make me feel bad for who I was born as is, is, is fucked up. I respect it. Will you try it? No. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Bert, uh, there's a comedian, Bert Kreischer, who we've had on the show a couple of times. Yeah. And in his new comedy special, he was talking about wiping and he made this gesture on stage like this. Yeah. Like just like, like a front wipe. Balls. And, 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 I, and then I immediately damned him. I'm like, you're a front wiper, bro. I know exactly what that was. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, he, he came 60 out. 60% of, the... of the audience is like, what the fuck did he just do? Yeah. It's awesome. But I do recommend to you, cause I know you're doing well in life now. You got a lot of stuff going on. You're doing good. God bless. Get a bidet. Okay. Is it is it really that good? Like, I mean, is I, don't it even, I, I don't use toilet paper. So you just it. What is it? It just automatically does it. You don't got to touch anything. You don't got. Well, do there's a button on the side. Okay. You can control the pressure, the aim. Although this thing's like got AI, it always hits the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> there's some dude in Japan. It has asshole detection. There's one dude in Japan who's just looking at millions of assholes programming this AI. <laughs> you, think it's, you think it's a one yeah. dude <laughs> yeah it's just one guy who's fucking super traumatized um it's got just got buttons you can do like oscillation you can do pulses uh the seat is warm the water is warm and it just power washes your asshole and a, sounds like a bougie ass toilet and it also has a dryer oh so it like Oh, see, that's what I was wondering. Is it sprays, and then that's my problem with the with the gun. It was that it was just my ass would just stay wet. Well, but this dries it too. Yeah, it's got a dryer, bro. It's like a hand dryer on your ass. Although so it's like a full like wash cycle for your ass. Yeah, it's called a Toto. There's like these Japanese uh, toilets. Toto. Yeah, I'll look into that. But traditionally, uh, they just have like a a side <clears throat> like a hand towel that you kind of mm -hmm. just dry your ass off with. Which is a little nasty, I, I agree. A little bit, yeah. But that's what it is, man. And I think it's huge. A real, I mean, it <laughs> changed my life. I gotta look into that. Your your girlfriend is a uh, school teacher, right? Yeah, she teaches preschool. Is it? I find it bizarre that she's still doing that because she has a successful YouTube channel. She really likes it. She like she's just a good person. Yeah, she went to. Oh. Well, she loves kids. She went to school for it. She's really good at it. And um, yeah, she just like genuinely likes teaching kids. Wow. And she really like, you know, she like all the kids that she teaches and stuff like that. She's like friends with their parents. And um, it's more than just a show up and teach them their colors. It's like you really like form a bond with the family and stuff like that. And so she loves it. Wow. So she and, and her boss is like one of her best friends. And so 
How um, was uh how was everything during COVID? How was it teaching kids over Zoom? She had to do it over Zoom for a while and like they're they're actually it's funny. I I like have memorized her like routine because they sing the same songs and stuff like that every morning. And so mm-hmm. now I know all the songs. Mm-hmm. And um, but they're really good on Zoom. Like one time she was late to a Zoom and she like popped in and they were just all talking, all these like three year olds. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's like so no sweet. parents, nothing, just like, what? What are you what's that doll? And they were just chatting. And they get it. They totally get Zoom. They understand how to unmute themselves, how to mute themselves, which is kind of scary. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it 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 works. And now she's gotta go, I think she's gotta go in again or something like i think they're opening pretty soon Mm. so now they all have all these masks that have like a clear plastic thing over your mouth oh my dude that seems but fabric around it so it's like it looks like a mask almost like it looks like a halloween mask or something like that but so you can connect with the children more so they can see you smile and stuff like that but it just ends up looking kind of weird are you guys scared i mean it it seems too soon to be going back to school i i I don't know yeah yeah i'm a little bit worried but um, especially if you get COVID or, I mean, if any of you get COVID, God forbid, like it fucks up everything you're working on. I'm assuming you've got this TV show. You've got, uh, like, like if me and Ela, each of us get COVID, there's just so, it affects so much. It's just yeah. terrifying. Yeah. It is horrifying. Um, but I mean, there's nothing she can do. Like if they need her in the thing, she's got to go or just not work there, I guess. Mm which is like a lot of people's predicament right now. It's either work or, <laughs> I don't know. Work or die. Work or die, yeah. Pretty much. Which sucks. But there's a lot of universities that have opened, and they're, it seems like they're all within like two weeks just closing because there's an outbreak, which yeah, is just like, inevitable. Was it Alabama or something like that had a shocking rise in cases? Yeah. They had like 500 in a week or something like that yeah. after opening. And I keep hearing the same stories. It's like, I went to college on the first day. Nobody was social distancing. Everybody's partying. And nobody gives a fuck. I mean, I don't know how you ask freshmen in college to not party. No. It's like, it's they're not gonna even their do fault. it. It's, yeah, it's they're not even their fault. They're gonna fucking do it. Yeah, it's not even their fault, dude. And even if they show up in mass, you get a couple of uh, natty, natty lights in them. Oh, yeah. And then all bets are All off. inhibitions to yeah. the wind. It's like my, 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 like one of my good friends, I went to college with him. He just dropped off his little sister there because she's a freshman now. And he was like, dude, it, it, the, the um, <clears throat> restrictions are insane. It's like, you can't have more than two, like, you know, they're, they're tracking everyone coming in and out of the dorms. You can't have mm-hmm. more than two people in your room and all this shit. You, no parties. If you get caught having a party, you get expelled like right away. <laughs> wow. And but in my mind, I'm like, this is not going to stop them. <laughs> no, nothing will stop them. Nothing will stop them. <laughs> Dude, there's they no will way. party at whatever expense. <clears throat> yeah, no. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why you go to college. I'm thinking back of my freshman year. Very little studying was done. Uh, that was low on the priority of why you go to college. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. My freshman year was a shit show. Dude, looking back, I'm all, you know, I've, I've actually failed out of college one, uh, on my, like my third year, I had to go, uh, attend community college and come back. No way. Yeah. I'm a five year superstar. Wow. You did a victory lap. I'm surprised I made it, man. How was your, did you make it through college? You're probably a good student, right? I was a good, so I went to, um, I was a good student, ninth, 10th grade. And then I went to something was was something that's called a sports school because I was a diver, a competitive like springboard diver. And so we were competing a lot and we would practice twice a day. And so I went to this special school. So basically the school was designed for alpine skiers because like where I'm from, there's a lot of alpine skiers that go to the Olympics and stuff like that. They train in Europe all winter, basically. So they need a school that they can do online. That wasn't a thing at that point, like online high school. And so this school was basically designed for these students where we could do most of our stuff online and we would only have to come to come to class, you know, when we needed to, like to show up in person. And so I just didn't go like ever. And so 11th and 12th grade, I just fucked off. I didn't do like I, I, you know, I treated it like it was a joke. 
and I graduated and I went to Duke. I got recruited there. So I got in because I was on the diving team. Wow. And so I went from not giving a fuck to going to one of the best schools. And like, it was awful. I took a class called the biology of dinosaurs, supposedly the easiest <laughs> class at Duke. Yeah. And I got a D. Yeah. <clears throat> like every athlete was in that class and they all got A's. And I got a D. How do you even study the bi the biology of dinosaurs? They're like you just have to don't... memorize dinosaurs. They're names. like, dude, That's we it. don't know. They're just fucking bones. Yeah. Yeah. No, just to show you pictures. It was like a class for children. It was like they showed you pictures of these <laughs> old dinosaurs. You just had to memorize the names of them. And I would, and I almost failed that. Well, end. hang so, on. Did you graduate? Yeah, I did. Oh, good for you. So you made it. I graduated. I got a <clears throat> degree in computer science, so I ended up okay. But I. Uh, That's always what. That's always what I wanted to do is computer science. And then halfway through, I almost failed out of that major. And so I read, I like had to reconsider whether I even wanted to do it or not. And then I kept going and studied harder. Dude, and how do you even get into springboard diving? Like as a kid, how do you, how do you <clears throat> find a, a I was just, hobby like that? I was 10 and my friend would, would just hit me up and he was like, I'm going to take this learn to dive class. Do you want to join me? I was like, I don't know. It sounds kind of stupid, but sure. Because it was like flips. Sound kind of fun. Yeah. It's I was like, I'll flip sick. off, do a yeah. front flip. Sure, I'll do that. And so I did it once and I was just like hooked. Mm. And then I got competitive. He ended up quitting. And then, yeah, I stayed like all my best friends and everything from from uh, from home. Like we're all on the diving team. We were like a family. You're probably then, you were probably super jacked back then. Yeah. <sighs> Hell yeah. Bro. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to. Be humble about that. I was yoked. Yeah, I mean, I've seen those guys, dude. They're fucking... <laughs> but you would think, like, you just want to be... How do you how do you get yourself aerodynamic, dude, in that case? Like, what is the regimen, the exercise regimen, to try to make that little dip, right? That's what it's all about, is that little dip. That little dip? dip? <laughs> yeah. It's called a rip. Oh, it's called a rip? I was super a close. Rip. Yeah, you were really close, actually. Um, it, You just, like... A lot of lifting, a lot of stretching. Like, you have to be super flexible. Right. So, like, I used to be able to, you know, put my... I used to be able to sit with straight legs and put my head in my knees. Hmm. Um, yeah, and it's just a lot of repetition, honestly. Something like diving, it's a lot of muscle memory and just training your body to do the same thing so that you can do it under pressure. Because that's one of the things is you train all your hardest dives, and then when you're in a competition, you have to do... You get one shot at each one of your hardest dives. Mm -hmm. And in between each dive, you have to wait for everyone else to go. So mm -hmm. you get cold, and then you have to warm up again. And then you have one shot in front of the judges to do that dive. So it's like training your mind, basically. It's like golf. Mm. You ever get nauseous waiting? I used to swim in high school, and I don't know. There was this phenomenon where we all got super nauseous before. We played water polo before a game. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I get that all the time. It was so weird. I was just puking all the time. That's how I recall my freshman year of high school. <laughs> because I was just, I would get so overwhelmingly nauseous. I From once puked in nervous? the pool, actually, dude. You puked in the pool? Well, almost. I, I was okay. able to puke on the side of the pool. God bless. <laughs> God bless, man. <laughs> it's close, man. Yeah. I, I, would get really, I would get really nervous before competitions. And then I would, you know, poop and vomit, stuff like that. Hell yeah, all the good things. Yeah, at the same time. Ever at the same time? <laughs> no, never. I, you know, you never know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you maybe. side wipers got all kinds of tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> you ever you win any re uh, awards? Were you good at it? I was pretty good. I I came, uh, I I think I came eighth at Olympic trials. Whoa, that's crazy. And then. And then I qualified for Olympic trials again in 2012, but didn't go because started a job and stuff like that. You're like, fuck the Olympics. So was decent. But I mean, I, I went I on the team at Duke. There were two like legitimate Olympians that medaled and they were like, holy shit, like unbelievably better than me. So that was pretty cool. Oh, really? Training There's... with them and diving with them every day. <laughs> was pretty dope. <clears throat> Just, uh... So there is that like distinction between like metal Olympians where you're like, wow, these guys are insane. Yeah. <clears throat> Ian just uh, found a video of Cody Dyer. Oh, yeah. Throw that up. Yes. Let me see that little twink hot ass <laughs> dip body. 
You ever? Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Which one is he? I can't tell. That's me on the right. Oh, you look. Yeah, you look yoked, bro. I wasn't fucking around, dude. I was jacked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're you're serious. Oh, dude. Damn. Dude, your splash was way smaller than the other homies. I noticed that. That's my homie Brandon. Shout out to Brandon. <clears throat> <laughs> so this is this was nationals, and in, in Winnipeg, Ontario, Winnipeg, Ontario, Winnipeg. Look at that posture. Brain farting. Oh, dude. Woo! You are really good at that. And we won this, but because we were the only people that competed <laughs> in synchronized. Oh, you won. There was no competition. There was nobody. We were the only ones. We would get out, dry off, and then go up and do the next Manitoba, not <laughs> go Ontario. Gold medal. Christ, but you guys I'm are. I'm a bad Canadian. So, what? so how is this working? You guys are on a team. You're synchronizing. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the gold. We got the gold. Yeah. One out of Eat. one. Yep. Yeah, we killed it. Smashed it. I'm just. Is this is this on repeat? Oh, that or, was a bad one. Wait, is this on repeat? Am I watching the same thing? No, no. It's, oh, okay, it's still going. <laughs> See there, that was the score at the end. It was just our names. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. You ever like? Uh, is it dangerous? I, f I feel like I've seen a lot of people get injured like that. If you're too close to the dive board, knock your head on it and stuff like that. Yeah, I've seen some pretty gnarly shit. Like, seen tons of people hit their heads on the boards, their hands, their fingers. I saw one girl uh, one time. She was on my team. She did. She was on 10 meters, so like the highest one. And she was doing front three and a half. So like f front three flips to a dive. Hmm. And she like slipped. Because like when you're in the air, you like keep track of where you are. But she slipped out of her like tuck. And so as soon as you do that, you like lose where you are. And oh, so no. she face planted in the water and her, her hairline was bleeding. Oh, no. And her like her eyelid, like it was messed up. <clears throat> She had a concussion. Oh my goodness, that poor and was out for a while. I, that's scary that you could actually just get that injured hit in the water. Yeah, it's it's brutal. I gotta tell you, I think I'm too much of a pussy to even do what you did there. I, I'm terrified to do any of that shit. You I'm get a, used to it though. You work up to it, and then once you do it enough, it's just normal. But it's like it is all muscle memory. So as soon as you <laughs> stop for like when I stopped, it was like two weeks later. I used to be able to do like a backflip on the ground and stuff like that. Hmm. Two, three weeks later of not doing that stuff. And it's just your body just forgets because like your intuition is to not land on your head because right. your body's trying to protect your head. Uh, and so you got to train yourself not to do that. And then if you don't do it for a while, it's just you just forget how. So you can't do that kind of stuff anymore? No. Oh, man. No way. Yeah. Dude, this surprised me. You made an app. I'd cap that. Yep. Huge app on the app store back in the day. Was it like 2012, somewhere, somewhere around that? Yeah, 2012. <clears throat> it was a, Im you put an image up and then you you kind of program this app where it puts a caption on it. Yeah. Do you, you got like 4 million downloads in like four months. Yeah, it was pretty wild. And then you sold it. Yeah. Are you That's rich? I... No, no. Oh, it sounds like one of those big I... ass sales. I sold it for like, I think, it, I don't even know if I can say this, but I think it was like a hundred grand, oh, okay. but 50 grand cash, 50 grand stock in this company that, that I sold it to. Cause I worked for them for two years afterwards oh. and they were a startup. They were like 12 people or something like I that. I see. And that's how I got a job out of college. Cause oh. I was diving so much and I, I had competitions and stuff. All my friends were like already interviewing because mm. they do, you know, at schools, they do like the career fair. So you meet the companies and then they go out. You know, they, they interview you out and wherever they are. And I just couldn't do that shit because I had, I was diving. And so I was had no job lined up for after college. I wanted to be in the States, but I needed a job because I can't just be here. I need a visa. Hmm. And so I wrote this app just like by chance because I wanted to teach myself how to make iPhone stuff. That's how I did it. Because I knew that was like more of like a marketable skill. If I could like everyone was doing apps at that time. So I was like, if I can write an app, then someone's going to hire me to write their app. Hmm. And so I wrote that app as like a project and it went like super viral. And this company that I sold it to did like a mobile ad SDK. So like they were the technology that when you're playing a game and an ad for another game popped up, that was their technology. Hmm. And so they would plug that into like a ton of different apps. They needed a lot of traffic. That's like how an, you know, a mobile ad network would succeed. And so with my app, they were like, we can just buy this app that has the most amount of traffic 
and pump this these ads in it basically. Hmm. And so my first job was for them was writing another one called I'd Cap That Two. <laughs> mm. And actually, no, my first job for them was making the paid version because it was a free app that I made. They bought it. I moved to Palo Alto and wrote the paid version. And right away, we released it. and It made like 200 grand. And I was oh, like, that's oh, my up. fucking God. Yeah. I could have just done that on my own. Yeah. But that's pretty, dude, I have to tell you, I think, you know, we started this conversation by talking about this guy who makes these motivational videos. It sounds like you've, you've succeeded at everything you've done, Cody. You should be making motivational videos. What, (laughs) what are you doing, dude? (laughs) You think I should just, should I just go to like Vegas and just give talks? I would uh, tell, tell me what the fuck do I need? What am I doing wrong, bro? (laughs) Motivational speeches. Yeah. No, you're killing it too. Well, no, but I feel like I feel like I could use some motivating. <laughs> so you want me to give you advice? Yeah. What's your please? Um, my <clears throat> advice is you got to. It all starts when you wipe from the side. <laughs> oh no! I can't go. I can't walk that path. <laughs> That's where it all starts, man. <laughs> I can't walk that path. I'm telling you. Once you do that, it's enlightenment. <laughs> You know, it'd be cool. I'd like to see like a list of most successful front wipers. That'd be fucking cool as hell. Yeah, Forbes should do that. Richest like Obama. Front wipers. What if like Obama? <laughs> I bet Obama might be a front wiper. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, who knows, man? It's just, you never know. Yeah. I bet he. Yeah, I don't know. I, feel I would like, like to see that. Honestly, I really would. I, I, I do feel like generally, I don't know if you know who Burt Kreischer is, but he's like a total yeah, fucking great. slob. Uh, I feel like only slobs and fucking losers wipe from the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, which which of you guys wipe from the front? I know one of you guys admit to I think it. It was Ian. Was the I do? Ian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, I'll take Ian. He seems pretty. I mean, more. See, it's all about the hmm. the if you hook, you hook in, and you don't deal with any problems. It's the angle. Yeah. Oh, so I you hook. don't cup your own shit. You hook no. You kind of go around. No. See, that's risky. Sorry, dude. Yo, I, my dick's so. I got to make sure it's out of the way. <laughs> yeah, my dick. <laughs> oh, I guess I just put through. I throw it over my thigh. Yeah, dick, that's what I usually right. do. I just toss it over my shoulder. <laughs> Ethan yeah, actually you... converted me to the wiping he does. Wait, what the Whoa. <laughs> I didn't We've know that. We've talked about this. Zach, you're such a simp. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. We talked about this like a year ago. No, like, no, no. I remember a comment of somebody being like, yo, I started wiping from the front and it changed my life. I didn't know you got converted, Zach. <laughs> yeah, of course. You got to lift the balls and go, man. So tell Cody the benefits of wiping from the front because he's a hater. Oh, my God. It's So you went, from, you went from back to front? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them why. Nice, Tell them. Give them knowledge. It's easier. You know, It's. I think it's cleaner to tell cleaner. you the truth. I get a good clean, dude. Yeah. You know, you leave I a like lot of poop look, in your butt. I like to look what's on uh, the baby wipe sometimes. I wonder so, you know, if that's a, the big difference between the front and side is the look. Because I look at gotta, every wipe. Why do you look at every single one? Well, the first one is has the most data. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get rid of the first one. Like, I mean, there's there's a few there's a couple of reasons to look at your wipes. One is to glean information, and the other one is to make sure you're clean. So I feel like you're doing the f- second part, but not doing the first part. I see. Darn, I guess that care. makes sense. Do you look at your poop in the maybe, toilet? Maybe in the poop in the to- like when I'm done, I stand yeah. up and look. Yeah. Or down. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll catch a glance. Yeah, I'm curious. I'll sneak out. Oh, I mean, there's nice important work. data nice work, in there. Cody. <laughs> I'm serious. There's you want to know you want to know that if if that your poop looks healthy. That's true, actually. It's yeah, it's important uh, to know that kind of stuff. Yeah, and if it remember there was there was a ahead. big faction of like stand wipers too. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, those people are long gone. Well, mm-hmm. your cheeks get pushed together, so I just don't understand how you could possibly get yeah. an adequate wipe standing. Yeah, that seems like it would do a weird like. You know, like a Rorschach painting or whatever it's called. <laughs> right. Well, you know, um, sometimes you sometimes like you're out of toilet paper and you have to stand and reach. And I feel like I'm always smushing my shit together when I have to stand up and get toilet paper. So the fact that you would willingly stand shocks. Yeah, it doesn't me. make that doesn't make it doesn't any make sense. Make any sense? No, yeah. it doesn't. I put my legs up like this. <laughs> I sit. I lean back on the toilet and I put my legs like this. 
Dude, you're pretty flexible still, I'll say. <laughs> no, dude, I'm not nothing compared to what I used to be. Um, I used to be limber. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> dude, how do you prepare for your videos? Because when I watch them, it has this certain quality. Uh, it looks effortless, but how much preparation goes into them? It kind of depends on which which ones like uh the that's cringes with with me and noel we would just sit down and just do them like all of them are just like nothing planned because i think one shot that, multiple shots takes. what do you mean multiple shots like takes i guess no it would it'd just be like it would just we just do it for an hour just run through the video right. and make as many jokes as possible maybe if we like talked over each other we'd be like all right let's take that again mm. um if like someone said something funny but those are totally off the cuff. And then for like most of mine that I do by myself, I'll like write them lightly and then I'll leave, but it's kind of changed now. Now I'll leave a lot of room for fucking around. And cause I like when I watch my own videos and it, they don't seem scripted. And so I'll leave a lot of room for like me just messing around. Does it ever get frustrating though? When you're like, when you leave that space and then you feel like on the spot, you're having a hard time filling it. What do you mean? Like maybe sometimes, if you leave open space and you're like, oh, I'm going to make some jokes here when you oh, go yeah. and you're like, oh, this isn't funny. This isn't working. Yeah. You know, it's also like it's sometimes I, I'll feel a lot bit like if, if I feel on, that's mm. never a problem. If mm. I'm filming, and I'm like the energy is great and I love what I'm talking about. Then I never really run to the, run it into that issue. It's kind of like when I don't feel that great or, I'm you know, the thing that I'm watching isn't that funny or whatever, mm. then I'm, I'm feels like I'm pulling teeth sometimes. It is kind of a bad feeling. Do you bail? But then or... I'll see the edited version and I'll, oh. do I bail on it? Yeah. Have you ever bail on a video? Like a couple times. Yes. Yeah. When I just know it's not going to be funny at all. And I'm like, this is pointless. I'm just doing this to put up a video. Do, do you find, do you get depressed by that? Or are you just able to move on? I get depressed when I don't have like ideas and I don't feel funny. Hmm. Like if I'm not posting for a while, I'm like, I should be, but I just, I don't feel inspired. And then I go through other moments where I have too many ideas. I kind of hate that. I wish I was more consistent. Like ah. how the fuck does PewDiePie do it every single day? I don't know. It's disturbing. Every day he's got a new video and it's fresh and he's totally seems sane. <laughs> it's it's great. disturbing to me that he's able to do seven videos a week. Sometimes more. Years. It seems like, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 he's got a superpower. I, I mean, there's nobody else that can do what he does. It's, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Wild. But I, I, my problem was like, I think the the biggest reason I stopped making videos is that I was having trouble finding good content, right? To to talk about. Yeah. And then I would find one, or you got you kind of get desperate, so I'd find one and be like, "Oh, this is good." And then when I would get down to record, I'd be like, "Oh, this isn't good. This isn't funny. Yeah. This is yeah. awful." And yeah. it was just this horrible cycle of like. No, I just felt like nothing. You get into this pits where it's just like I don't know. I felt like I would get into a rut where it's like nothing works for so long that I just I just don't even want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, I I I agree. I mean, it's funny people will ask us like, "Where do another that's cringe? Do another that's cringe?" Because we haven't done one for like a year now, mm -hmm. and I think that we did like the ones that we were doing when we before we stopped doing them. Like right before we stopped, they were good, but they weren't as good as the ones that people really love, like the Matt, like the Girl Define one and the Maddie Smokes one. Mm. And like reflecting back, I feel like we got really, really lucky with those videos because mm. we're only as good as the video is, you know, because you watch that video alone. It's already hilarious. And then all we're doing is, you know, making as many jokes as we can. And like we hit something special, but there just isn't a lot of media like that. Right. Yeah, it's it's right. I, I feel the same way about some of my early videos. Like I would sit down and react to them off the cuff with no planning. Yeah. And it was like, you know, I mean, you can't find pranks in the hood anymore. That kind of goal just does isn't on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Pranks in the fucking hood, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of it on TikTok, but right. But even because you can do that on TikTok now. You can take the video and react to it on TikTok. And that's its own little ecosystem. It's not the same. What do you make of TikTok? You're you're from Vine. Do you think TikTok has what it takes to succeed where Vine failed? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's I a do. phenomenon. I think if, eh? if Trump like lets it stay, it's going to be around for a long ass time. I feel like. What is it about TikTok? There's, there's it's a behemoth. Like yeah, they do. Is. No matter, they will not fail. Like they, they poured billions of dollars already into mm-hmm. just, you know, being recognized as, uh, like you know, at the beginning when it was musically, and then it was first TikTok. Like they were pouring money into marketing it just mm-hmm. to like shoehorn it into, uh, pop culture. And now they did that. They spent the money. They made it this big ass thing and they won't let it fail. I feel like hmm. it's already the biggest social media app in the world. I think right now, dude, I got to get on in TikTok. the States for sure. I got to figure it out. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And, um, actually, um, a B who's with us, his girlfriend or his wife, sorry, who's on TikTok. uh, they started rolling out this this program where people are getting paid on TikTok now. Yeah, me too. I just made three bucks. Three fucking bucks. Yeah, dude. I just looked right before. How are the rates? <laughs> Look at this shit. Yeah, you have, you're doing pretty good on TikTok. I gotta I'm get on TikTok, it. bro. I'm that's I'm doing TikTok. That's it. Let me see that shit. Let it focus. Come on. I, I if I can't see it, I don't believe it. Okay, hold on. Let me turn on the brightness. Let's see if that. Sorry, Come on, dude. bitch. Sorry, dude. I don't believe it. Oh, no! oh three. Se- Wait, you read didn't tell read, me, baby. Wait, hold on. You didn't tell me 375. 375. Yep. So what's the rate? How many views? Because you get a lot of views. It didn't seem like a very good rate. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't tell me how many views I got for that day. It just tells me how much money I made on the 24th of August. But I think the CPMs are really low. I think. Well, well yeah, what I heard they did is they just put up like a billion dollars of their own money. Yeah. Because it's not, they're not paying out, but I guess they're working on some kind of ad rev share right now, which... That's what I mean, is that, like, you know, when Vine was kind of struggling and people were leaving and stuff, they were like, well, there's nothing we can do. We can't pay them. Mm -hmm. TikTok's like, oh, no, we just pay them. Yeah, we'll pay them. Oh, well, oh, you guys are leaving? Here's $3 billion. Yeah. And so, so there's no reason why anyone wouldn't do it right now, like... So the, so what happened with Vine is that they're just like, dude, we're putting all this effort in and, and we're not we're just not making a living. And and ultimately people started leaving Vine. Is that what happened? Yeah, just people started not using it. Like mm-hmm. even the audience. Oh. It just started I think I honestly I think a big part of it was Instagram video. Huh. I think that stole a lot of traffic away from Vine. And then it didn't seem like people were using it. I feel like it was kind of a self fulfilling thing where it just seemed dead. Hmm. So it's kind of it feels kind of like Snapchat to me right now. If like feels dead, like no one uses it. I don't know. Maybe yeah, that's ancient. Gen Z oh, does, but spill my um, yeah, yeah. It was kind of weird. I would notice that my videos would just get less views and less comments, and it just felt like huh. people just weren't using. It. People weren't talking about it. I didn't see them on Twitter as much, and so Twitter eventually was like, "This is just like a resource suck, and it's and it's not worth it." So they shut it down. So you're pretty active on TikTok. Do you like the platform? I'm not that I don't post that much because hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to post. I don't know even how it works. I'm bad at it. I'm just people like someone tweeted me there oh, like a while ago. They were like, man, it's such a shame that Cody's TikToks are cringy. Oh, and I was like, fuck. Why would you do? Well, wow, come on. They are kind of. Though, when I watch them, I'm like, damn. Dude, but TikToks, thinking. how by the very nature of what TikTok is, it's kind of inherently cringy. Right. It's like hard to even make content that isn't a little bit cringy. Yeah, I mean, I there's a lot of good shit on there now. Like, mm. there's a lot of stuff that me and Kelsey genuinely laugh at, but I just don't know how to make it. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I got to use my kid in some way. I got to exploit my son, I think. Yeah, that would definitely work. I got to exploit my son more. In yeah, you general. should definitely. Yeah, yeah, you have in, a, yeah, you have a baby. He's cute. You should be using that child. He's just starting to talk. I mean, I'm I'm leaving a lot of money on the could, table. You guys, yeah, you guys could be the new Ace family. Yeah, the Gerd family. The the Gerd. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I gotta get a tick. I'm just curious because it's like I feel so out of the loop. I just I don't want to ever feel like this old out of touch fuck who's like oh. But you know what? It's so there's this crazy phenomenon I've noticed on TikTok is that there's a lot of old people on there. Making crazy ass old people TikToks, and I yep. and I can't figure it out. So I guess it can't be that hard. No, yeah, like senior citizens you're talking about. Yeah, where they like key yeah. out the background and they're doing yep. karaoke. It's yep. awesome. Yep, I just saw one yesterday that like went viral. That was really funny. We have in common. Uh, 
we talk about other YouTubers, me and you. Mm-hmm. And I know that you were kind of like, for example, Jay Station is, is one that, that you mm-hmm. focused a lot on. And my question for you is, who is like your favorite kind of classic meme YouTuber? When I say that, I mean like Jay Station, SoFlo, you know. Yeah. Ethan Bradbury. Favorite meme. Um, Just like a living meme, you know. Yeah. I mean, Jay Station. Think- I think Maddie Smokes is pretty good. Yeah. We, we, he's just a funny kid, man. We did that video and then we, we, we were touring in Vancouver where he's from and he came out to the show because we wanted to bring him on stage and surprise the audience that he was there. And so we were like, okay, you got to come to the back and you got to, you know, we'll sneak you in so nobody sees you. And so he finally comes to the green room like a little bit late. And we're like, where were you at? And he was like, oh, I was just taking pictures outside with everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> with the line to get in the venue. He just was walking by the line. It was just taking pictures of that. <laughs> and we're like, you fucker, you ruined it. Um, well, he's just hilarious. That. And yeah. his friend, his friend, his name is Liam. And by the time you're we in the green room, the kid, the kid's like 18. He had drank like four beers, which is ripping this vape thing that he had, like just ripping it. And was doing tricks and everything. Like, it just was in... It was like we were watching a live video, you know? Yeah. It was hilarious. And he's just funny. Like, he's a funny, funny dude. I used to play Fortnite with him all the time. Oh. Uh, That's very wholesome. Yeah, I I love when the the meme... Like, for example, with Ethan Bradbury, we're like dogs now, dude. Are you? Yeah, dude. He's he's my homie. Like, that guy would kill someone for me. I'm sure of it. (laughs) Wait, I saw... I saw... You played like a band... uh, Like a video that he did or something... Oh, was that the, the forbidden one. He's talking about the yeah. It was like he like did something about COVID or yeah. We we were like because I love Ethan's whole vibe, and I was like, dude, do a man on the street for me. This was like right when COVID started to hit, and uh, I was like, go ask people in New York about COVID. And then a couple days later, he sends me this video of him like he's like, hey, what do you think about COVID? <clears throat> I have it and shit like that. And I was like, Ethan. Not only can I not show this, you'll get arrested if I show this. Like, you will literally get arrested. Oh, my God. So he took it as like, oh, I should go do a prank video. I think that's just the language that they speak, right? You know, I was like, just go ask people about COVID because I think you're everything you do is interesting. And oh, my uh, God. That's that's horrible. Yeah, no, it was horrible. I was horrified. If, I mean, I didn't even show it. I just played the audio because um, because I don't want him to get arrested. I mean, I I don't know what to say. I mean, but it w- but the only thing I can say in his defense is that it was at the New York wasn't even shut down. Okay, yet. yeah. So it was like the early days. No the one, early no one knew days. How seri- serious Pe- it was. Yeah, people were getting a little spooked. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so God yeah. I'm bless. trying to think of who else. I don't. Um, I mean, Matty Smokes is just the ultimate, I feel like, because he was such a meme. Yeah. How was your time with Ty Lopez? You, we, it was funny because I don't know what it was like. Ty Lopez, I guess he was trying to do some PR or something. He's kind of off the radar now, poor Ty. I know. It's so funny. Like last week I was sitting there. I was like, I wonder just randomly. I wonder what the fuck is up with Ty Lopez. And I go to his Instagram and he said that himself. He's like, yeah, you know, I've been off social media for the year, but now I'm buying all these companies. Just what I, I just bought Pier One Imports. Yeah, I, I read bought, that. What the fuck? He bought like four he literally more bought Pier dying One imports. brick and mortar franchises. He's a scammer, and right? Like he's he going to flip from- them. And I, I don't know. There's I still something don't really weird know. going on there. I still have no idea. Knowledge. But Say yeah. that again. What was that? Knowledge. Oh, knowledge, right. Yeah. I couldn't tell if yeah. that was Keemstar or Tyler. You're in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you have that queued up. Any anything else, Zach, you want to hit us with? No. Knowledge. Yeah. No. <laughs> <Just> knowledge. <laughs> yeah. How was your time yeah. with him? Because mine was super weird. Mine was like super weird because he brought lawyers to mine. Did he do that to you? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he brought that dude. That oh, the same guy, guy right? was there? Yeah. Weird sketch. Like I feel like he's not actually a lawyer. Oh, you know? I got mad lawyer vibes from him. You got lawyer vibes from that dude? Yeah. I I got like, like, what's the lawyer from Breaking Bad? He like a fixer. 
yeah, oh, Sal like Goodman, that, uh, Saul, Saul Goodman. Oh, like a dime. That's the yeah, vibes I got. Like, well, the, in truth, help me break the law. Yeah, and in truth, I don't think any like honest to god reputable lawyer would be like, yeah, sure, I'll come to your house and eavesdrop on some YouTuber at nine p.m. on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really yeah. It was. But he he was, lied. He lied to me about it. He was like, oh, sorry, I'm just having a meeting right now. And I was like, why is this guy five feet behind us all the time? <laughs> yeah, he followed you, right? He followed yeah. us, too. The whole, he listened to everything we said. What a fucking um, weirdo, dude. <laughs> I, so I looked up, I, I looked up his house, his house that we went to, the be- you went to, you went to the same one, right? With yeah. the koi pond and everything. So I was, koi pond? I don't You know. walk right well, in. Well, you walk in, there's like a huge koi gravel pond. entrance, and then there's like a huge courtyard in the middle with a long swimming pool, and then the back there's a gym. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the front, there's a koi. Like when as soon as you go in the front door, there's like a koi pond in the middle of the oh, you're right, koi or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. I saw that on Zillow. I think last <laughs> week or the week before. It's twenty seven million dollars that house. It's for sale right now. I gotta tell you, I figured that was a more expensive house. That house was fucking twenty seven million. Bucks. I mean, it's in like the most expensive neighborhood in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I mean, it. It's also like not. It's like nine bed. 13 bath or something like that it's wild mm. oh. but i mean i feel like that's pretty expensive 27 million bucks yeah that's up that is up there for some reason i thought it was more i don't know why i was very yeah, impressed com- by that house it's a it's like a compound yeah it's a compound like the pool and then the gym in the back upstairs there's like a dojo mm-hmm. it's like the fighting mats yeah, of and course. stuff like that <clears throat> um yeah, but it was, I mean, I saw him, like, we did that video, and then, like, two months later, I was walking through the Venice Canals, and there's this, like, house there that has this giant open, like, area downstairs, like, at ground level, and I looked in, there was someone, like, teaching, like, a court, like, he had a giant, you know, like, piece of piece of paper thing <laughs> yeah it and he was, like, like writing on it and he, i was like is someone teaching a course in there and he was like live streaming himself oh, and I, I looked over it was ty lopez and he was like cody oh my god and we just exchanged hellos and then left and i was like that was bizarre he's still doing his thing with the board and everything yeah he's renting houses and like renting airbnbs in venice and doing that and then leaving do you find it so bizarre the thing he does with models where he like he always has models around and he pays people on twitter to guess their ethnicity do you follow that? <laughs> what? He always does this thing. He goes, if you can guess her ethnicity, I'll give you a hundred bucks. That's bizarre. Yeah. I always found that really weird. Anyway, listen, I want to, um, in closing, kind of, I have some videos that are classics here that, that I'm hoping you haven't seen. Okay. And I want to get your take. My first favorite one here is the, uh, it's just a dude taking a poop in a in a uh, bathroom stall, nice. and something happens. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this is pr- this is probably my favorite video, so I think Ian's gonna cue it up here for us. There it is. World star, you know it's good. You feel that tension? The suspense is killing me. I love this shit. Bro, why is your flow? <laughs> why is your flow? Mm-hmm. I've been calling you the whole time to give me inspiration. No. Sorry. It's awesome. What? <laughs> so, so here's the question that I always ask. Okay. By the way, that that's obviously like not the first time that's happened. <laughs> My guy was like smiling. He was like smirking. I guess he I guess he's got some fetish for smelling poo or or maybe he just wanted to I mean but who says sorry? Just tell me who says sorry? Is it the guy pooping or the guy on the floor? Watch on the floor. Hmm? Watch on the floor. He's like, what? <laughs> they were calling you the whole time. See, right there. He was like, mm-hmm. he kind of did a little laugh and he smirked a little bit. I love like how he, he's like, he wants to be caught. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm down here. And then the guys are recording. I'm recording you. And he's like, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Don't show my face. <laughs> sorry. So wait, wait. Sorry, my bad. says sorry? Because I feel like the guy recording says sorry. And I think that's hilarious. He's like, sorry, I stopped you. <laughs> didn't, yeah, didn't mean to 
invade your, also, your privacy like, by filming you. He's like, what are you doing here? He's like, huh? <laughs> Uh, Ian, hit, hit me with the with the sorry <laughs> moment, because I still have not resolved who says sorry. It's definitely the guy on the floor. No, it's not. Why is on the floor? I've been recording you the whole time to give me his original. Sorry. I swear it's the guy shitting says sorry. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't see the 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 peaky the peaking guy's mouth. Move. And it sounds like the guy on the toilet. He says sorry. It's awesome. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it is. Dude, Maybe he's like, sorry, I fooled your plan. I think it was just so awkward he didn't know what to say. He's like, sorry, bro. Sorry, you little poop smeller. <laughs> Not today. Didn't mean to fuck up your day, but sorry, dog. It's just a little yeah. uncomfortable for me. <laughs> yeah. It's kind That's of really a compliment, funny. really, isn't it? That Damn. somebody's willing to sneak under the stall to smell your poop. Yeah, I guess. He's like, you have Chick-fil-A today? Hmm. You front or you, you wipe it <laughs> yeah, from yeah. the front or from the side? <laughs> yeah, what if you just yeah. what if he's just doing research for yeah. the front wipers? Hey, leave your first wipe on the uh floor for me, would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um the next one. That was a good video, right? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Thank you for saying that. Uh Garth Brooks Facebook. Have you seen that? No. Oh yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, Ian. So let me give you some uh, pretense here. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Garth Brooks, back in the day, uh, I guess Facebook was relatively new. He posted on his Facebook page one video, and then he disappeared. This was the one video. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. <laughs> but I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, the hotel room. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Because it's just who I am. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Oh my God! It feels like a Matthew McConaughey video, dude. Yes. Oh my God! He has the same cadence of speaking. It, I felt like I was watching an audition tape. Like I feel right. like he's done that fifty times in the mirror. Exactly. Cool I, stuff, neat stuff, slick stuff. If it's tearing down the walls between me and you, I say let the conversation begin. And then he just never posted uh, again. I like that. No, he bounced. <laughs> that's fucking awesome yeah um it's the it's one of the best videos ever because it's supposed to be so candid but it's so obviously scripted <laughs> it's so scripted and uh i like that i well, really like that pretty like conversation i like that i, I like, like that. that i like that garth is Let one of my favorite conversation begin actually i think garth is one of my favorite memes because gerd brooks gerd <laughs> Gar i call him garf g-a-r-f Garf. <laughs> Garf Brooks. Uh, yeah, he's a legend. I like that. I really like that. What a le absolute legend move not posting ever again. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, just being I like, like I'm going to post, not only am I going to post slick stuff, I'm going to post neat stuff, but mostly it's going to be raw stuff. But actually, it's going to be nothing. Yeah. I think he got just totally memed on into oblivion, you know, because <laughs> so. people are like, Garf, this, what is this? <laughs> Have you seen Matthew McConaughey's like recent videos? Oh, yeah. I'm like all... his shit about his book, Greenlight? Uh, well, we've been taught, we've been following. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on that. Oh, I'm it's obsessed. So good. It's so fucking good. You've been good. doing a yeah. lot of research on that, right? You have the green light. <laughs> been compiling all of his quotes from Instagram for like nine months. Do you have any that you so can read good. off to us? Yeah, I've got them in like a folder. Shoot us I a like couple. Mm. I pre-ordered a book because it. I think Dude, it me November. too. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get the hard hard copy version. Read it cover to cover. Let's uh, see the ones that I found. This one, I I pondered this for so long. There was this quote. It says, "You'd better be different, not sorry." Huh? And I'm like, really makes you think, doesn't You'd it? You'd better be different, comma. Not sorry. I think he's saying you better be different. Not 
Sorry. <laughs> or here's another one. Uh, do it because you want to, not because they don't. Wow. Do wait, wait. That, that one's fucking my brain up. Do it because they... It's you almost like to. he's just trying to put shit together that makes as little sense as possible. Do it because you want to. Not, not because, because they, they don't. Well, I mean, well, what could that possibly apply to? Your parents, like if you, like, porn and trying to piss your parents off, like if you do porn, I can't think of anything else. They don't want, don't do it because they don't want you to do it. I no, they don't want, they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. So it'd be like, they don't want to, I'm, I shouldn't find motivation in like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't want to succeed because they don't want to succeed. I should want to succeed <laughs> because I just want to succeed. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think I've ever been motivated by that in my life. <laughs> I don't think so That's either. That's the problem. Matthew's got an interesting brain. There's just so many. Go ahead, Ian. I'm enjoying. Go, give me, throw me a couple. <laughs> get them early so you don't have to get them often. Get them early so you don't have to get them often. Get them. <laughs> Go and get them. Get what is what could that? What does mean? that mean? Get them. Get them. Because get them early so you don't have to get them often. But uh, maybe, maybe you know, because you could probably want to get them multiple times, right? <laughs> well, so what is he getting? I don't see the the the. I don't see how the uh, frequency of getting them affects the At the punctuality of it. What stage you adopt it? Yeah, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a relation there. <laughs> get them yeah, early, early before it's gone. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's, maybe there's yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, like a yeah. Like you go to Trader Joe's in the morning and they have more shit. Get it early. <laughs> get it early so you don't have to oh, get it often. He's talking about like a big ass bag of. But here's the thing: usually things you don't need to get often, you don't need to get early. Like yeah, you're like I'm gonna get this huge bag of popcorn. You see, you know those huge bags It's like fifty yeah. pounds. But, yeah. But those people are not rushing to get that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> that's true. So yeah, so it's yeah, more like get point. it, the early part. Huh. Get them early so that you don't have to get it later. That's what it should have been. Get it early so you don't have to get it later, which is kind of explained in the first part, though. Isn't that what yeah. getting it early does? Yes. Yeah. I guess it's kind of, yeah. Ian, come, let's, let's, let's unpack. This is my favorite one, I think. Yeah. Uh, this one's a real, real mind, mind bender. Mm. Uh, when did guilt by deed turn into guilt by association turn into guilt by conversation? Whoa. <laughs> Can you say it again? When did guilt, guilt by deed is just doing something? <laughs> when did yeah, that's guilt just by murdering deed someone turn into guilt by association turn into guilt by conversation? So he's saying, so he's saying, so he's saying, someone kills someone, that's a guilt by deed, literal act of crime, turn into guilt by association. So say, let's say, Ian, you killed someone. And I know you. That's guilt by association. So they say, well, fuck you. Turn it to guilt by conversation. I think that's just a way of his him commenting on like cancel culture. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm s- but he did it very elegantly. He did it with his powerful, <laughs> elegantly? Powerful brain. Very, very McConaughey-ly. roundabout in code. You seen his Lincoln commercials? I love that shit. I think I think so. He goes he has like one, one where he goes, uh he just goes. He literally, this is his only line. He goes, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> he just goes, yeah. <laughs> I swear that's it. It's awesome. Can you try to find that, Ian? It's uh, just, yeah. his, it's just, just his GERD acting He out. goes, yeah. Yeah. I like, <laughs> I actually like Matthew, though. He's a good actor. He, he like, this Hell is one video. You've seen the Long man. Branch and the Pork Cracklin video? Say again. He's like, you ever seen the you ever seen the video where he drinks a, some Long Branch and he eats a pork crackling? No, should pop that up, Ian. I don't even know what you'd search to find it. He's like in his hotel room, and he's like, can't sleep, <laughs> just winding down with a glass of Long Branch whiskey and a pork crackling. <laughs> <laughs> I think he also Long Branch. I think is his company, right? Oh, it's just a promo. You see, Ryan Reynolds sold his gin company. For six hundred million dollars. What the fuck is with Ryan Reynolds? And now, six hundred million dollars. Didn't George Clooney pull that too? He sold his shit for like a billion. Yeah. 
Oh. To the same company. To the same company. Who's buying all these fucking liquor companies for a billion dollars? Some behemoth. I gotta start distilling vodka or some shit. Yeah. The guy that made... I just was reading about the guy that made White Claw. He's a beverage connoisseur. He's been around... He, he made Mike's Hard Lemonade. That was his first drink. Mm. And now he's worth, like, multiple billions of dollars. You know, um, you may... I may uh, teach you something here today. We've debated this at great length and decided I was correct about all vodka being literally the same. Right, Dan? Did we decide I was correct? Well, I mean, I don't know if we decided it. We found some research that seemed to indicate. So all vodka is the same taste and is the same alcohol. So what about like the distill or whatever? The the, it's the multiple same. Times. But I swear when I drink Grey Goose, it tastes better. Yeah, but like, so here's what I would tell you to do. Try this experiment. Next time okay. you're drinking a nice vodka, pour out okay. the Grey Goose. Okay. Take that aside for yourself. Get the shittiest vodka you can find. Get that shit with the top comes off. Should it's I do a, this right now? I'm yeah. already pretty drunk, so I, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're ready, put in the shitty vodka into the Grey Goose bottle and see if anybody says anything. Okay. I'll do that. That's pretty psych. Is that a psycho? Because I used to, to drink do? aristocrat vodka in college. Remember that stuff? Aristocrat vodka. <laughs> no. You ever drink that? No. Yeah, I've been like pretty a, up on that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plastic handle costs like two dollars. Of yeah. course it would be the cheapest shit with the name like that. And it's horrendous. It's like hand sanitizer. I yeah, it really tastes different, right? It does. Yeah, yeah. Ian, do you have anything for us to watch, or should I move on to Mobility Mary? I couldn't find the um, commercial you were talking about, but I found I one that's kind of funny. Discord. <clears throat> oh, you didn't find a... Uh. This one's pretty good, though. Yeah, this is a classic. What's mm. that? Wait, was that I like that? That wasn't actually that was Garth. That was a sound. Okay, okay, that was good. I like that, dude. I like that brands have just given up. They're like, fuck it, dude. This we just gotta like, like, have you seen this Johnny Depp uh, uh, perfume commercial? No, you know what I'm talking about, Ian. Uh, I'll look for it. It, these brands have just given up. They're like, dude, I don't even know how to market this shit anymore. It's a Lincoln. (laughs) Like, how do we convince people to buy a Lincoln? (laughs) <laughs> uh, I was just imagining the bull charging the car and it getting like totally fucked up <laughs> uh, is this yeah this is it are we gonna get claimed for this shit probably not I gotta get out of here gotta get out of here this is a perfume commercial. Which way? I like that. <laughs> I like that. Good luck, Ethan, because you're going to fucking need it. Garbage. It's the same shit. Yeah, it's the fucking ball. It's literally ball. the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's the same ball. It's in every commercial. What am I looking for? So good. something I can't see. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's, per- it's perfume, magic. bro. He's crying. Yeah. Survive. Survive. It's so good. I'm buying that shit now. <laughs> I mean, what the? Fuck? I want to smell like what I just felt. Yeah, whatever that is. I'm sorry, I wanna, but that's a I want to smell commercial. like confusion. Somebody's got to do a commercial like that, but it's just for the animal. Like at the end, it's just like buffalo. Buffalo meat. Paid for by the Dairy Farmers of America. <laughs> Did I just hear Zach defend that commercial? You said that was badass? Uh, yeah, I think that's a badass commercial. So does it make you want to buy the Sauvage? Uh, Maybe. Oh, Zach, come on, man. <laughs> He's no, like, what if I, like, I already love- own it? Yeah, I love Johnny Depp. Like, I think he's a fucking badass. And how do you like, how do you feel about the Amber Turd situation? Shit, I don't even know what to think of that. I just aside Isn't she from that, like, bad is that she what pooped in his bed? Apparently, that's why they call her Amber Turd. She pooped in his bed. <laughs> yeah, that was like they have they're having this huge lawsuit in England, and one of the main uh, pieces of evidence is that she shit and pissed all over his house, <laughs> and so. 
they have text messages of of uh, of Johnny Depp texting with his friend saying Amber Turd took a huge stinker in my bed last <laughs> night. <laughs> it's literally a real text message. No way. Yeah, Amber Turd. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That just goes to show you, man. Uh, it's kind of funny. Dudes are just the same. Like exactly. You can you can be in a giant legal feud with your horrible ex wife. And she defecates in your bed, and you come home, and you're like, "Well, Andrew Tur just took a big stinker." <laughs> yeah, and it really just goes to show. It doesn't matter how rich and famous and successful you are. Oh, we've got an article on it. This is the poop that flushed Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's marriage away. There's a picture. Oh my god! Oh no! There's a photo. This is news to me. Yo, <laughs> like that. New photo of feces that Depp oh, says really Heard left out, in their dude. bed. Yo, I don't think we could show feces, dude. You guys got to blur this out. Oh, no. Yo, who... Dude, you got to give me a poop warning. <laughs> it, wasn't even, it wasn't even a very good turd. Yeah, it looked like she forced it out and just kind of wiped her ass with the sheets. And it was her 30th birthday? So do you think she, like, got too fucked up and did it? I think it was a spite turd, from what I understand. <laughs> I've never been Damn. that angry. Especially on your fucking birthday. She was pissed. <laughs> you literally... Well, Cody, have we uh, have we covered ground? What have, what have we learned here today? Wiping stuff. We talked a lot about poop. Yeah, a lot that of poop related things today. Uh, but was, I, thank you for having me, man. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Oh, it's a, it's yeah, a, so it's great it. to have you. I mean, you're you're a, a super funny dude, super talented. You should be a motivational speaker. You've succeeded at everything in life. Diver, app developer. <clears throat> Comedian, uh, cyber bully, <laughs> and uh, well, if I start doing motivational speeches, yeah, I'm up. Oh, um, yeah, I want I'll the VIP to guest start. Yes, no, yeah. I'm not. No, I have nothing to say. Well, you could hop on at the end. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope yeah. you learned a lot. Yeah. And always remember, white right from the front. Right from the front. That's the word. The path to success always begins. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm very much looking forward to that new video you got on deck. And, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still. I'm. I hope people like it. I really do. It's a little bit. It's a different style. I'm. It's a little bit. You know, corny. Almost. I use like background music and stuff like. That. I really try to treat it like. Um, you know, kind of like a longer form. Oh. I narrate it, so it kind of feels more like a movie, sort of. And so. How long like is a short it? Film. 22 minutes. Okay. That's an episode. Yeah. So hopefully people like it. We'll Great, see. man. Well, I, I'd love to have you on again. See yeah, no, thanks for having me. I appreciate on, it. Check back Say in on to... your bowel movements and everything. Yeah, I'd love to talk yeah. more about poop. I'd actually love to have you on with your girlfriend. That'd be fun. Yeah. No, we'd love to. She uh, loves you guys too. Say hi to Hila for me. Yeah, well, she's she uh, is doing Teddy Fresh stuff. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. She's a CEO now. Business, she's, business. Dude. Yeah, she's business. It's doesn't sleep, you know. No. Well, um, cool. Be good. God bless, and uh, wish you well, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.